Like, <laughs> really isn't necessary. <laughs> Anybody? Mm-mm. Not yet. Hey, any comic made me understand? Look, um, I said, uh, all right, I know, seriously, but. <laughs> It all made sense at the time. <laughs> you really don't have to, though. That's funny. I don't get the drunk dialies anymore. I get the, the drunk emailings. That's about it. These are a lot better. Hey, any comic made me understand. Look, um, I said, uh, all right, I know, seriously, but... <laughs> This just got to stop. The game stuff has to stop. I'm sick of it. Got that much? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gay stuff has to stop. That was call number one. Okay. And I don't... <laughs> I don't know if he felt like he had to follow up with a second call or if he forgot making the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> because the second song, like the second one sounds like the first one. Or like he... It, it sent well, here. Hey. Right, so Sam. Um, <laughs> all right, and, all right, seriously, hey, look. Um, <sighs> the game has got to stop. Yep. <sighs> Tara asked me today. Gay stuff's got to stop. Yep. <laughs> the gay stuff's got to stop. Yep. <laughs> Tara. Great. I'm even quirky when I'm drunk. At least you agree with yourself. Yep. <laughs> the gay stuff's got to stop. Yep. <laughs> Tara asked me today. Seriously, Tara asked me. Huh? She wanted to know if you and I really had some thought. Uh... Did you get all that? Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <coughs> all right, then. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, yeah, 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 no, no. She thought it'd, it'd be good to know before the wedding. Of course, that's hysterical. Ha, ha. Really funny. How'd she bring that up? Why would she think we would really have anything going on? We never see each other. We just see each other at work. And I'm sure that she knows that Trey would tell her if he caught us sucking each other. Because <laughs> <laughs> Trey's old narc. That, yep, yep, that is true. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and there aren't, I'm sure there aren't times during the weekend where you're, you can't be accounted for. I'm sure you guys are with each other most of the time. Well, yeah, I mean, she works Friday, Saturday nights now, but... <laughs> So, oh, she does. The opportunity is definitely there. <laughs> so how'd she bring it up? It doesn't matter how she brought it up. Just the fact yeah. that she had, the fact that she asked. That had to have been an incredibly awkward conversation. It wasn't pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> she bring it up during sex? No. <laughs> Stop it. You're thinking about Russ right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, Tara asked me today. Seriously, Tara asked me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she wanted to know if you and I really had some thought. Uh... No, no, I, I'm... Yeah, 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 no, no. She thought it, it'd be good to know before the wedding. Of course, that's hysterical. Ha, ha. Really funny. But, but, but <laughs> just to be clear, I don't want to look at your... D- I don't want to touch your... D- I don't want to have sex with your... D- I don't even like having to think about... But, but, as. Man, it was going so good. 
Not really, because I cut out a lot of dead spots. <laughs> <laughs> but, this, but, guys. All right, but here's the thing. If, dude, seriously, if, if you want to come out of this game, I'm cool with that. I'm not a homo. But listen, you're my friend. I think you're the most talented people ever in radio. Yep. But I don't want to. <laughs> those L's and those R's. That's hard. <laughs> and the language in general. <laughs> Yeah, most of us tired of people, right? I take that as a compliment, but I don't know which that was one of the most talented people in. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I said radio. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You're my friend. I think you're the most talented people ever in radio. Yep. <laughs> but I don't want to you. I really don't want to you. Terrence Cameron. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From what I can make out, he goes, S, Tara's coming. Then he's like, I gotta go. I got caught. <laughs> and the guttural stuff at the end? I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm. I really don't want to f Tara's coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because those are embarrassing. I want to get rid of them. <laughs> but here's the edited copy I'm going to keep. Oh. Just to be clear, I want to look at your d I want to touch your d I want to have sex with your d I'd like having to think about your I'm not a homo, but I want to f*** you. I really want to f*** you. <laughs> oh, don't take a bow, you uh, turd. Hey, no. uh, <laughs> so assertive. Shut up, Chloe. <laughs> That's a nice job, isn't it? It's very nice. Hey. Just to be clear, I want to look at your d***. Yep. No. I want to touch your d***. No, I don't. I want to have sex with your d***. No. I like having to think about your d***. Definitely not. I'm not a homo, but I want to f*** you. I really want to f*** you. Yep. Uh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just throw that in wherever you feel like. <laughs> Most people would say thank you. For I could have taken the other two messages, put them together, and just played that third clip and never said anything about the first couple. And no one would have believed it. That sounds pretty convincing. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not a chance. <laughs> just be clear. I want to look at your d I want to touch your d I want to have a sex with your d I like having to think about your d I'm not a homo, but I want to f*** you. I really want to f*** you. Yep. <sighs> That's all I got for today. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back and try and figure out what he said in the first one? Yeah. Nope, the nope. first part? Mm -mm, not a chance. Hey, any comic made me I got the hey. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like any comic named Nikra. <laughs> That's as close mm -hmm. as I can get. Let me hear it one more time. All right. Hey, any comic made me understand. Look, um, uh, I can turn it over to our forensics department. Yeah. <laughs> Claude, you want to take this home? <laughs> <laughs> We're studying. It sounds like he. I need something. Need to, I, now, during any of this, either one of the phone calls, from what you remember, or we can ask somebody else. Were you talking to anybody other than leaving the message? Not that I remember. Hey, any comic made me understand. Look, um, I think that's really the only part I can't understand. Doesn't matter. No, I think that's first. The first drunk message you've ever left me. I did. We'll say yes as far as recent memory. I like getting messages from you. <laughs> I need to get the beer goggled feature on the phone. Uh, all right, I know, seriously. But 
This has got to stop. The gay stuff has to stop. I'm sick of it. Yeah, you're right. There's times it's like he's having a conversation either with himself or somebody else. But I think he, he was so drunk, there were just two of them. <laughs> and there are a couple times on the second message. I think he just stops and goes, huh? <laughs> hey, Russ, it's Sam. Um, <laughs> His voice is a lot deeper when it's drunk. When yeah. he's drunk, it's a lot more attractive. <laughs> Shut up, Sul- yeah. sultry. That's a perfect word. Mm-hmm. My voice is not sultry. Yes, you are. Oh. All right, and all right, seriously. Hey, look. Um, <clears throat> the gate has got to stop. Yep. <laughs> Tara asked me today. Seriously, Tara asked me. Huh? That part. <laughs> she wanted to know if you and I really had some love. Uh... Yep. <laughs> I still don't know how you you work that into any type of chit chat. Hey, uh, we're gonna go and pick out uh, plate patterns or whatever today. Unless you have other plate plans with Russ. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Did you get mad? No. I get mad if somebody wanted to know if I was blowing my boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd think she'd know better. Although, given the circumstances and the events over the last week here on the show. On the air. It's not like I'm really calling your house or your cell. Can you talk? All right. Now. Is Tara around? Are you going to go ahead and get married? Yes. All right. I didn't realize it was going to create that much havoc. Oh, yes, you did. In your relationship? You always know things you do create havoc. That's why you do them. It's a show. It means it's not real. That's why they tax show at the end of my name. Yeah, and it's a great cover to get away with doing whatever you want. You're not going to blame your relationship going belly up just because you don't want to come out. Relationship's not going to belly up. you're not going to blame it on me. Not, duh. Hey, Dan, Trey found this news story. Read that. <laughs> oh, knock that off. I'm not reading that. <laughs> Why not? If you don't read it, you are one. <laughs> well, isn't that perfect for you? <laughs> I'm not homophobic. I just don't like it when you hit on me. I don't hit on you in real life. I don't like it when you hit on me in fake life. And the fact your girlfriend asked you about it, she obviously was jacking around because she doesn't believe it. So no. Why do you believe it? It's not that I, I mean, be- you got to leave me a drunken voicemail. I don't look at you. Weenie. I don't. <laughs> the rest of it, I have no clue what you said. Well, Especially the first one. I don't either. <laughs> I'd offer some cash to listeners who could figure out what he's saying here, but I don't want to pay it. No. Nah. Then that there'd be no way to verify it because I don't even remember what I said. Hey, any comic named Nikra? I'm still going with any comic named Nikra. It's hard to argue. Maybe you just have to get that drunk and then it will make sense to you. Well, I'll send home with Chloe. Okay. Our own CSI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, any comic made me understand? Look, um, I said uh, I forget. Where'd you say you were? I was at a bar. Well, I knew that. I knew at one point during the day you were yes at, at a bar. Yes. And this was last night. Yeah. You normally get that toasted on a sort of a school night? No. Just one thing leads to another, namely drinks. Mm. I said, all right, I know, seriously, but 
This just got to stop. The gay stuff has to stop. I'm sick of it. The drunker he gets, the more sultry his voice gets. That's true. And he sounds more like Brian the dog from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. And then I got the second voicemail. It's like I said earlier. I don't know if he felt like he needed to follow up or he forgot about, forgot about the first one. Yeah. Hey. Right, this Sam. Um, all right, and, all right, hey, look. Um, <sighs> the gay shit's got to stop. Yep. <laughs> Tara asked me today. <laughs> Tara said, Tara asked me. Was it a yep or is it a... I think it's a yep. It's just like a self-affirmation. Yeah. That you... gay stuff's got to stop. Yep. Yep. Got to stop. Got to stop right now. Yep. <laughs> Tara asked me today. Tara said, Tara asked me. Huh? <laughs> she wanted to know if you and I really had some... Uh... No, no, I, I'm... Yeah, 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 no, no. She thought it'd, it'd be good to know before the wedding. Of course, that's hysterical. Ha <laughs> ha! That really does. Throughout the the voicemail, sounds like he's interacting with me. <laughs> yeah, maybe like it's like all- in his head. He, you know, Tara asked me about it. No, no, I know. I, 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 I crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yes, guy. Yeah, it sounds a lot like when. Uh, when Dan's talking, he sounds like he's saying my nickname is Vidra. I don't know why he would be wanting to be calling Vidra. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Let me go back and listen to that one, though. Hey, any comic name Vidra? I think I'm still closest if I'm a comic named Nikra. Yeah. <laughs> the nickname uh, of Vidra, that don't make no sense. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You and I really had some. Uh, no, no, I, I, yeah, 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 no, no. She thought it, it'd be good to know before the wedding. Of course, that's hysterical. Ha ha. Really funny. But, but, but just to be clear, I don't want to look at your. D- I don't want to touch your. D- I don't want to have a sex with your. D- I don't even like having to think about. Your d- but this, but as. I mean, it's. it's a white noise comes in the background. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> well, I can't tell if you're uncomfortable just because of the context of the voicemail or you didn't really want to call and tell me or you wanted to wait and have some pillow talk. I don't know what was eating at you. Why are you going to say pillow talk? I just, just, just chat back and forth after butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... But, but, mm. I was, I mean, here's if, dude, here's, if, if you want to come out of this game, I'm cool with that. I'm not a homo. But listen, you're my friend. I think you're the most talented people ever in radio. Yep. But I don't want to f*** you. I really don't want to f*** you. Tara's coming. <laughs> Again, I don't know what the guttural noises are at the end. It does sound like he goes, oh, yes, Tara's coming. Here we go. <laughs> like he just got caught. Yeah, I, I just, I think you're right. I, I think maybe in his head, he is playing it out like you responded to me, like, you know, gay stuff's got to stop. And you go, really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you're the most talented people ever in radio. Yep. But I don't want to f*** you. <laughs> I really don't want to f*** you. <laughs> <Tara's coming>. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at me. If you got any questions, it goes that way. Dan, do you know what the guttural noises are? Nope. And there was a third voicemail? No. There was the edited version of all of this. Oh. I, the one that I'm going to keep just for our, our Dan and my scrapbook. 
<laughs> Just to be clear, I want to look at your d***. I want to touch your d***. I want to have a sex with your I'd like having to think about your No. I'm not a homo, but I want to f*** you. I really want to f*** you. I really hate the day that you first learned how to edit any piece of audio. <laughs> yeah, had I actually been doing this on a real to real tape, mm -mm. Oh. that would take at least eight and a half months. Yeah. <laughs> you and I could have had a baby by then. <laughs> Great, now I'm nauseous again. <laughs> you want it again? Yes, please. Just no. to be clear, I want to look at your d I want to touch your d I want to have a sex with your d I'd like having to think about your I'm not a homo, but I want to you. I really want to. Yep. I hate you. You did a better job than I did editing. On what? Oh, there's a clip in the daily audio <laughs> folder. <laughs> huh? What did you do? Um, I had nothing to do with this one, Daniel. Well, then maybe it would be a good idea if you don't play it. It's just titled Dan. Um, he said, "I want you in my dreams." See, there's no reason for you to even play this. See, Russ and Dan. I got it. Is this the one? No, I did want him in the room. I wanted him in the room and wanted him to slide into bed with me naked. That yeah. one. No, I did want him in the room. I wanted him in the room and wanted him to slide into bed with me naked. Oh, I can fix that one. Okay. The next time I'm giving it to Dan, I'll just tape it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Everybody takes on their own role on the show. J.D. Ryan was a racist. He handed that baton to Trey. So what's mine? Man, I can't help you with that one. It's your show. Well, you don't have any problems in your relationship, so we can't. It's not like with J.D. and he had the problems with joy nonstop. Put his foot down. Couldn't go anywhere. Always had to check in. Your relationship is perfect. So I had to make you homo. I'm sorry. That are my hands. I went to McNeil. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I...